So now it's going to be about speed, velocity. V is for velocity. And um, these are the guys that fly high, high above the earth at enormous speeds. Two and a half and three times the speed of sound. And I'm not sure whether I might just get rid of this MiG here. See this MiG here. I've already done the MiG-25, so I think I'll get rid of that and use the X-15, which went seven times the speed of sound. So if I put the Concorde there, two and a half times the speed of sound, three and a half times the speed of sound, and seven and a half times the speed of sound, I think that'd be a better arrangement up in the stratosphere. Now what I need to do then, of course, is I just need to find information. The SR-71, which is that three and a half times the speed of sound thing. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? They're such remarkable things. They look so animal. You just sort of feel it heading towards you in a way, can't you? Anyway, now I'm in trouble here because um, I've recycled something and I didn't show you the whole way one of the earths I used for navigation didn't work out and um, I tried it out as a different thing and look at this it's worked a lot better than I thought it would but I didn't film any of it so it's basically the piece of foam cut down from the last earth repainted with undercoat and I've put new clouds on it but it actually looks tremendously like the earth so I'm very successful so I'm going to use it even though I was doing it as a test so um, I don't have any record of what happened with this one so there you go so there's the background already we'll put that in up there but I don't have any record of making it see how it fits into that arc and the aircraft will go in over there so what I'll do now is I'll draw this stuff out on balsa so I'll draw that shape out but it won't be a real 3D shape um, maybe I should make it 3D I was thinking making it 2D, 3D I'll have a look at it anyway I'll try cutting it. I have a rough shape here and I have a knife. So normally what I'll do is Cut the fuselage. Let's have a look at it. So I'm going to lay it flat so it's going to be like this. Now, the next bit, I've got the fillet, the wing fillet, which is a really great looking piece. I love this thing, it looks like a stingray. So, the wing fillet, which starts very sharply tapered, goes on like that. downward angle. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to use my drawing as a guide. The good thing about this glue is I can put it straight on. Oh. good thing about this glue is it really sticks. So what I do is... few dobs of glue it's it's pretty difficult because if it gets on your fingers you're immediately in trouble it just sticks to your fingers <laughs> there we go okay now I've got to get the angle right that's why I'm doing it like this up against the drawing because it's everything I construct here is a function of the drawing downward angle now what I'll be doing is I'll be putting another fillet in of thinner wood. I'll show you. I know I probably do all this the wrong way. I do it really in a labour intensive way I think. What I do is takes what I the way I do it takes longer than it should. I 
love balsa wood though. It's just great. Okay, let's try that. Best glue in the world. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of this stuff. It's fantastic. A couple of drops will do it. It's been a real boon. Here we go. So there's a smooth transition here across this fillet. And what I'll do is, see I've um, put those two bits together. I've squished in some of this silicon kit to make that a smoother transition. Just fill that up. Now you watch what happens to it. It's a bit like cake icing, isn't it? That's the icing trick. What I try and do is get a smooth, I've got a plastic glove on because this stuff sticks to your fingers like crazy. This is really, really messy. Kind of nice though. Okay, There's a lump here. I don't know what the lump. I don't know what the lump is. Let's see if I can pull it out. See that? Bit of hard filler. Don't want that. It's lovely filler. This. I don't know how it's going to end up in ten years' time. This is my only problem with it. But um, I love it because it's well. It's not a sanding filler. You can't really sand it. So what I have to do is make the smoothest transitions I can and leave it, cut away the excess and then fill it with a fine filler. But it's lovely for making a, I don't know, the lighting doesn't work here. Now look at this transition, isn't that gorgeous? This is what I love about, this is the animal aspect of aircraft I'm really, that really um, gets me. They're so much like creatures, look at that, those smooth, smooth shapes, wonderful. So um, we're starting to build the body. You can see it's just sort of part of it. But um, what I've got now is the cockpit the canopy, the place where the glass where the people sit. It's got to go behind there, see? So that'll get mounted up there somewhere. Now look at it. What it is is it's a chunk of wood. It's carved and it's got filler over it to smooth it out. I've made it solid and I'll show you why because what I'm going to do is mould from it. So I've got that in the vise here, ready to go. There's two ways I can do it. I can either melt it and stretch the stuff over the top. I can simply just melt it and stretch it over the top push it over and see what happens, which we might try. But um, more reliably, the idea is to create, well, we'll have a look, I'll show you. So what we'll do is we'll pull that off and have a look at it. It's a bit hard because um, it doesn't always come off as easily as it goes on. 
That's not too bad, is it? It's got the dust on it. It's enough to work with, so you can see that. So that's the trick. Obviously, <laughs> the big scoop there. Try another one. Yeah, rubbish. The best thing I could do is use this as a test canopy because it hasn't worked to show what happens now. What I do is... I mark out the line on my original. That's why I draw the canopy lines in. Surgical scissors, couldn't do without them. They are fantastic. They've been so handy. Just take the mould out first, just take the cut the excess off. In this case, I can get right down to the task. It's good. I quite like that it's gone a bit smoky this one, but that might be handy. Cutting along that texture colour line. Let's see if that works. Shall we now? Whoop, flip. So that's pretty well the pattern. That's what you do to get your canopy. No, it's not a very good one. It's not too bad. See, now what I need to do is secure that on top of there. You can see what it needs, what it needs doing. We may go with this one. You need a curve on here to make it fit into the curve on the fuselage. Let's cut it down a bit. It seems to be working well. We could do that. I'd be new. I'd like to use curved nail scissors for this actually. Just a bit easier than cutting from both sides, which is a bit ungainly. I think that's good enough for jazz. We might go with that one. See that little bit near the red mark at the back? That has to be cut off. Pretty nice though. Let's take that out. See how that goes. We could go with this one. Because that'll allow me to build a quick interior now and get onto it. Might be easier to cut that way. You just have to check it out. It's a bit hard to know. But look, it doesn't really matter that bottom edge because I'll be filling it anyway to make it fit properly. Isn't that cool? I think it's one of the coolest things that you can make Okay, good stuff yeah. um, What I've done here is I've started putting up some reinforcements alongside of the cockpit. You won't see them It just looks like bits of wood But what I've found is with these canopies I have enormous trouble getting these canopies to sit along that edge. So what I'm doing is I'm just creating, I'm just creating a ridge, so that I've got a glue area for the um, for the aquadier. Now I've made a little pilot. Well, he's not a pilot as such. He's just a lump, really. Look at this tiny little lump to stick in there. He'll be sitting right in there because I'll be able to see clearly inside this cockpit. Stick an ejection seat back over the back of him. It's ludicrous thinking of that huge plane with that tiny little guy in there, isn't it? You're like, wow. But I'll need, I'll need him there. He won't be leaning back like that. He'll be forward. Just to give him an idea of movement. So what I'll do is, I'll just get... 
make sure that anything I see through here will be painted a bit darker. It's important. I can't see an ejection seat in there, so I don't know. Life 12A, maybe I'll have to have a look at this book. See if I can get a specification on it.
Oh, that's better. Had a lot of trouble with the backgrounds yesterday. Much better, I didn't put any medium in it last time so it wouldn't flow. Much better, much better. Even got over that crack a bit better. So I've painted the sky, I was going to do a couple more coats but I'm finding that this is satisfactory with that halo, it's really looking very three dimensional, it's really looking, th not very, it's either three dimensional or it isn't, it's really looking three dimensional and with that hair yeah, it's just looking fine, so we'll just go with that, gosh it's convincing isn't it, so that's what I'll be doing, I'll be working around the back now, see how dirty it is. So what I'll be doing is getting um, some supports in and I'll glue it in. I'll just put on the hot glue gun and we'll stick that up. So what I'll do is I'll put some supports on the back with the hot glue gun. Because I want this to look like it's um, out in space. Put up a support. Could when the gun's not too hot because with the foam it just tends to um I don't know, it just doesn't work on the foam anyway. Okay. Where does that stick out so that it doesn't quite touch the baseboard? What's the stuff?
So um, to stick that so that I can see that. That looks about right. Let's give it a try. See if we can stick it on. So what I'll do is I'll just um, get the hot glue gun. Put a good squish of wax there because I'm hoping that that will stay now. Now, I need you guys to position this. Just need that to settle. That's pretty good. I can't see that at all, but then again, just slide it down a bit. Should be better. Okay. No, up a bit. That should do it now. Turn that off. Whoa, bonk. <laughs> Did you see that? The world fell over, man. So here's um here's one we um here's Concord. Some interesting things about it, like when you turn it over, it doesn't have full wings of course. It's got some lovely detail. It has um Yep. So it has um, lots of the detail on this is painted. I haven't done the windows yet, done the wingtips. So it's mostly painted. If I flip it over once again, it's just a piece of balsa wood. It's been made out of a piece of balsa wood. I guess that's how I'm constructing most of them. The fillets to hold the wings on. A support to hold the wings on. Wings are acetate, which is that transparent packaging you find around stuff like computer pieces. Engines are made out of um, balsa wood. But he's pretty good. Actually does alright, even in three quarter view. It's not bad. That's not bad, the wings are much too short of course, but it's built for this side view, so that's Concord. Cool. Isn't that gorgeous? I'll just put that down here. 